I learned that sometimes there's that bound, but I learned that there's this bound. So imagine there's this graph. Now, at first it kind of goes up. This is that, that's the stupidest thing. I can't, I can't, I can't. So I had an idea today that I was going to make a video about quality and how sometimes buying things that are a little bit better than just the cheapest one actually pays off in the end because the quality is so much better and how, you know, when you get to a certain price, it's a diminishing return on the quality of something. And I tried filming it. I wanted to film this because my camera's coming back and I was really excited about it. And then I came downstairs to make this video and... Uh, like it, it failed i i tried about six different things and every time all i could think in my head is you are so stupid and pedantic who would want to listen to this garbage and you're half -ass? and i get angry with myself in my head like what am i doing why am i doing this so stupid what a dumb idea i didn't grow up with that kind of negative attitude i don't i don't even know where it came from. My mom and dad were incredibly supportive in so many of the things that I did. But sometimes in my head, I just, I get so frustrated when the things that I want to say just can't come out of my mouth. I remember when I started painting and, and, I, and I loved painting. I loved the way that that colors would work together and I had these amazing ideas in my head about how I wanted them to come out and, and sometimes they would and sometimes it was this beautiful representation and then other times I put hours into work and, it, and nothing, just nothing. It felt hollow and dead and empty and I couldn't imagine how I had so badly represented what was in my head and why wouldn't these hands do what they were supposed to do? And I felt that feeling just a few minutes ago when I was sitting down to make this video. The most important thing about these vlogs is the honesty for me. It was something that took a long time to sort of get more comfortable with. I was really awkward at first trying to be comfortable and it's a little better now, but it's like I couldn't be honest. Maybe the fact is that I don't really care that much about the quality of tools. I'm really glad that I got the one that I do, but sometimes the cheapest one is good. I have the cheapest possible sander over there and it works just fine. I don't need it to be spectacular, but yet some of my other tools, I made sure that they were the good ones because of the things I wanted there and so it's not about quality so maybe that's what it was maybe I was being dishonest the whole premise of the video that I was making was just a half-ass attempt to try to make something I tell most of the people that I know that the most important thing to me is honesty and integrity and that's probably why it drives me nuts so much when when I feel like I can't be honest with myself I I just get I get so I mean I suppose it's fair I suppose that's good that I get angry at, at myself just as much as I would get angry at someone else for being dishonest honest with me but but oh my gosh just the the rage the, the the absolute frustration i remember there was one fellow that i worked for who had this idea that i was going to be the next big youth pastor and i was going to change the way we do church and everything else and then i ended up working for him and it was awful he had a totally different way of doing things and and he felt so betrayed and let down by me because he had built up this idea about who i was based on sort of the rumors that he had heard or the stories that he had heard. It wasn't that I had misrepresented myself to him. My reputation had misrepresented myself to him. I just, I, I hated that. I, it, it hurt me so badly to think that somebody, for good or bad, had an idea about me that wasn't actually accurate. And you know, it's exactly what happened with the Pride Parade just a little while ago here. This whole idea of people deciding things about who I was or who a group of us were based on the actions of a few. You know, hate me for who I am. That's that's fine. Just hate my guts if it's honest and you have an honest concern with me, but don't hate me because of an idea. And by that same token, I don't want you to love me for something that I'm not, for inauthenticity. 
authenticity or for some fake image of me deciding I'm gonna tell you why I think that there's this great middle ground of blah 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 blah. It means nothing. Here's the truth about it. When I want to get into something, I research it until I'm blue in the face and everybody around me is intensely annoyed and then I save up and get that thing because I know it's the right thing because I've worked hard and I've researched it. And the times when I don't because I think, oh, it's just cheap or whatever, like a phone case that happened today. I bought a phone case and I didn't research it enough and it's garbage and I am so frustrated with myself. But if there's a moral out of this, it's make sure people know who you really are. Let them love you or hate you for who you really are, not for some image that you've decided to project. It's hard and it's scary. And if there's something that we desperately need in this world today, it's people who are risky enough to be real. Plus, as a side note, I'm really glad I'm getting my camera back. It was, I was this close to buying a new one. It was, oh. Thank you.